This set of videos is going to explain how to create an infographic such as this using real-world data. It requires us to get hold of real-world data, put it into a spreadsheet program, analyze it, and then present it using presentation or publishing software and image editing software to enhance the graphics that will be used in the infographic. For this example, we'll make use of the data which is available, available on Gapminder World. It's under the Data tab. And here you can see all kinds of data which has been uh, collected together to make uh, some of the interactive charts that are available on Gapminder World. I'm just going to show all of the indicators in this list and the data that we're going to make use of begins with uh, B. It's about bad teeth per child. That's the name of the indicator. And I'm going to download the Excel version of this, put it in an appropriate folder, and then open that data. Here's the data I've downloaded. It's got various sheets within the same worksheet. I'm just going to enable editing to be able to have a look at the different worksheets that exist and it gives us an indication of what the data is about and various links to download it. This data has uh, around 190 countries and the data tells us for each country how many bad teeth a 12 year old is likely to have which are decayed. So this is the number of teeth using a weighted average uh, for a 12 year old that are decayed. Um, and the reason 12 year old uh, children's teeth are important is because by the age of 12, they usually have a full set of adult teeth. Uh, so, and they, uh, the average number being around 32. So this is out of their 32 teeth, how many are likely to be decayed already. So 190 countries is quite a large number to work with and what might be a, a nicer way of looking at this data is to break it up in terms of the continents of the world. Now we don't have that data available to us so what we need to do is get hold of that again from Gapminder World. So I'm back at the main Gapminder World page and uh, the data exists because the data for continents is used to colour in the uh, the various spheres that represent a, com a country. Uh, and the way to get hold of that data is to drop down the geographic regions uh, there and from categorizations choose geographic regions in four colours. So we choose that and we get um, four colors for the, the continents and we now need to get hold of the data as a, a spreadsheet, as tabular data. And for that, if you hover over the small grid right in the corner, just above the drop down arrow, it lets us view data. So if I click on that, it's now going to take me to a spreadsheet uh, which has got different worksheets in it and if I click on the groups one I can see that it gives me each country and the continent in which that country sits. So this data doesn't give us a straightforward way to download it but because it's done in a Google Sheet we can make a change to the last bit of the URL, the, the address for this spreadsheet so that it downloads an Excel file for us and the change we need to make is to delete the pub hash at the end of the URL and in instead replace it with a query string which is export so we're going to export this file I'll just spell that correctly export question mark format equals XLSX so XLS is um, the old Excel format and the X is the new Excel format. So we're going to 
When we press enter, this will download a file, or if you're on Internet Explorer, I think it gives you the option of, uh, it asks you where you want to save the file. So we'll download this file as well. So this new file that's downloaded is called Colorful Regions, and if I enable editing here, we can have a look at the sheets which are a part of this file, and the groups sheet gives us each country and the continent. Uh, and what we're going to do with our spreadsheets is to combine the data for um, country, continent, and teeth. Um, and so I'm going to copy these two columns and just paste them into this sheet over here. So copying the columns, I'm just going to highlight both of those columns and then copy those. And then over here on this side, I'm going to, I've just right clicked on the A column. And then when I, uh, I clicked on the A column to highlight it. And now when I right click, it gives me the option to insert the copied cells. So I'm going to paste those in there. So I now have the name of the country uh, along with the continent it's in. Um, and then I've got my data for each country. So if I just resize this column here so that you can see, um, what I'm going to try and do is that I'm going to match up uh, these two countries here um, without using a, without having to write a program and just using some functions within the spreadsheet to help me. So going through over 190 countries is going to be a little bit difficult. So I'm going to just type a formula in to uh, help me see that these two match uh, rather than me just having to read it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert a, another column here. And in this column, I'm just going to, uh, first of all, if I just show you what we're going to do uh, to match these up is We've got Afghanistan on this side, and then Afghanistan is one uh, below on the continent country list. So what we need to do is delete these two here, and then shift everything up so it matches with Afghanistan on this side. And to do, do that, I highlight both of these, right click, choose delete, and shift those cells up. And now when I say OK, everything shifts up and Afghanistan Asia matches the data here. So we want to end up with the country, the continent, and then the data about teeth. Uh, so the formula we can use to help us see whether both of these are equal is I can just type in equals, is whatever is typed in here exactly equal to whatever is the value of this cell. So in my case, it just ends up being equals A2 equals D2. And what that gives me is it gives me a true if those two match. And if they don't match, it gives me a false. So the next two are not matching. Uh, so again, I can have a look. I've got Albania here. And Albania appears on row number five over here. So these are the, the two countries I need to delete. So if I highlight those, choose the delete, shift cells up, and then these two now match up. But what happens now is my formula, because I've uh, deleted what existed, it's giving me an error saying, well, um, you, you, you were referring to something which you've now deleted. So to correct that, my first formula is correct. So I'm just going to drag it down here. So we can do this small sections at a time, and that's why we don't fill this formula in all the way down to the bottom. Now, the other thing you can uh, use to help you if you don't uh, just want to see writing is we can make use of color. And uh, so we could, for example, get the spreadsheet itself to color all of the true values in green and everything that's false in uh, red. So a quick way of doing that is if we just, let's just highlight those. 
and then we choose conditional formatting from here and we can just add our own rule by choosing a new rule and so what we're going to do is just tell it to change the color depending on what value we type in and the option for that is uh, just this one here format only cells that contain um, so that's the one we're going to choose and then I'm just going to say if the cell value equals 2 so let's just pick out the false one first so if it's equal to false then we can fill that in red so that highlights for us straight away that something is incorrect and we can say OK to that and again if you want to uh, carry that on we can add one more rule uh, again we can this time add one uh, for cell values which are equal to true and if they're equal to true then we'll fill them in green and we can say OK to that so our true cells turn up red and the, the other ones the false ones, uh, sorry, the true ones turn up green and the false ones are red. And so I, I now check my next false one. So American Samoa uh, doesn't exist in the list over here. So I, I need to move Angola up next. So I'm going to delete those shift cells up. So those get uh, shifted up. And now my last true value I can choose and drag that down um, and the formatting also gets copied so I can now drag down until I get to my next false which is over here uh, and Aruba needs to be deleted so I'll just delete that shift cells up and then drag down 